Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole Anderson, owner of Anderson Sport and Wellness, and I'm going to show you how to use silicone cups to release the fascia and the muscles in your lower back. So if you have tension in your lower back or a lack of flexibility there, then this will help release that. And if you've just had like been working out your back a lot and it's gotten stiff, um, you, this will help release it. This is a really good thing for surfers who spend a lot of time with this part of their back shortened so it kind of can just help open up and decompress that lower back but it's good for everyone it's good for people that spend a long time sitting so if you're off you know working in an office this is really good for you as well so you're gonna need some co coconut oil you'll need coconut oil or free up you can use the free up you don't have you don't have to change in any special clothes for this so you're just gonna put a little bit of that on your back so that the cups can stick to it. And then you're gonna create suction with the cup by, see I'm pushing in on it, okay? And then I'm gonna tack it right to the skin on my back. I'm gonna take another one and put it right next to it like Mickey Mouse ears. Ah, I just lost one. That happens sometimes. So if it happens, just put it back just means I didn't have a good enough seal. Okay, and then the other one, I'm gonna go right next to it. Ah, popped off again. This doesn't usually happen this many times. Okay, so now those cups are on and they're just stretching out that fascia so you can just hang out. You can sit here, get some work done, read a book, whatever you want to do, hang out here for two to five minutes and let that suction just loosen and open up that fascia. And then after two to five minutes, you're going to take the cups off and move them to another spot. So you can move them up higher, lower. A good spot to hit is right at the SI joints. So that's where if you put your hands on your hips like this, and you got an attitude, you're gonna find right where your thumbs bump into these bony things right here. This is your SI joint, sacroiliac joint. And so you can put the cups on the skin just right over the SI, sacroiliac joint. And then you can put the big one right here. Okay, so it'll look like that. But obviously on your skin. Okay, and you hang out there for two to five minutes. Another thing that you can do is you can um, take the cups, make sure you have enough lotion on your back, take two cups like this and create suction to tack them on, bend forward a little bit and you're going to go up and down your back. And that's going to stretch that fascia as well. If you find an area that feels like speed bumps, then you that's where you would want to leave the cup, right on that speed bump area. And just let it open up that fascia by stretching those layers. You leave it for two minutes or so, then move it again, and you'll find that it's much smoother and it doesn't have that speed bump effect. When you're doing the gliding with the silicone cups, I showed you just up in my back, but you can actually glide all the way down into the glutes. And I actually recommend that you do that because the fascia that connects the back of your head all the way down into your back, it's very thick and connecting like all the way down into your glutes here. And there's different kinds of massage techniques that we do where we get down into these glutes and we come back up into the fascia here. So by doing it with your silicone cups, it's a way that you can do it for yourself. So you're just, you're using the cups with a little suction. You're coming all the way down across that sacroiliac joint into the glutes. Another thing that you can do is with your cup, you can work along the edge of your iliac crest. Okay. So you're helping to free up fascial restrictions all along the soft tissue just below the top of your hip bone here on the side, all in through here. 
and be gentle with it. Don't be forceful. We don't want to go to the point of bruising ourselves or white knuckling it or gritting your teeth. It should, you know, just be tolerable, kind of a stretching sensation. If you find a speed bump, leave it on there for a couple minutes, just like the other techniques. Trigger points and stuck connective tissue in this area can actually cause pain down your leg into your foot. So by releasing this fascia, it can help release your leg and your foot as well. 